Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of Mangled Menagerie. I'm Ender101, and this is part 1 of my Naysir series. Uh, this is the, the Journey of an Ashman. So, I won these Naysir uh, in the Haiku Contest from Cool Mini or Not a few weeks back. They just came in the mail the other day, and I figured I'd do a little video series, and it'd be fun. So this is Ashman number 3. This first one is uh, taken right out of the box. No work has been done on the sprues or anything like that. Uh, you see we have the little spindly bits for the back, the helmet, a lot of flash on these. They are resin, so that was to be expected. They're going to require a lot of cleanup. But, you know, nice crisp details on these guys. Uh, looks really good. There's a little base that he comes with. Over on this side, we have one who's just been taken off the sprues and cleaned, so I've uh, sort of cleaned off a lot of the, the flash on the various bits. Did the whole trick with running them underwater to clean off the model. So as you can see, he got he, he came out pretty good. He came off the sprue fairly easy. They required a lot of filing down with the feet where they came off the sprues. They don't really come off easy. As you can see with this guy, it's pretty thick on there. So I'm looking forward to the plastic. So I know a lot of people like resin or uh, Peter miniatures. I'm more of a plastic guy, so I'm really looking forward to when the uh, Kickstarter stuff comes in. And this third one is the same, same pose, same Ashman number three, but I put him together. Uh, you know, he came. He took a lot more work to, to put together because the the sword bit broke off, the uh, both the feet broke off, and I was taking him off this brew. It was, it was terrible. But uh, nope, he actually came together. He went to get back together really well, just a little bit of glue. Helmet looks really nice on this guy. It fits right in there. I uh, had to do the warm water trick with the sword. On this one, it was it was pretty bendy, and the arms were a little squished in, so I had to widen those out a little bit so that it would just fit right in there. Hard to... But... Yeah, you can see what I'm going for there. So, uh, that's part one. We'll get the next part in, uh, which will be this guy. These guys uh, primed and getting ready to be painted and based and stuff like that. So here I am back again. Uh, as I said, this is the next stages of the uh, painting process for the Ashman here. This guy is uh, just primed. I figured it'd be useful to let people see some more of the detail pop out on the models uh, now that it's not just the uh, matte gray. And said you can sort of see some of the nice level detail you have, like on the uh, little armor pieces, uh, the robes, uh, the mask itself looks, I think, pretty cool. Uh, little wrappings and such. The next guy has been just base coated. Uh, you can sort of see the paint scheme I'm going for is instead of red, I decided to go with purple. I thought that'd be uh, equally decent. I started doing some highlighting here. He still requires a little bit of touch up, but you know he's coming, he's coming right along. I just figured he'd be sort of a cool in between that and the finished Ashman. Raw. Uh, so next we have the finished Ashman. He is uh, gotten the whole nine yards. He's even based, and I decided to paint the base sort of the same gray as uh, the robes. And uh, I should mention I like to paint my stuff just the tabletop quality. You know, just it looks good uh, from a little far away. So. There are some little inconsistencies and uh, I got to, like little spots you see that I got to touch up here and there. But uh, overall, I'm fairly pleased with how this guy came out. Uh, you know, I think they look pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing a whole bunch of them just uh, on the tabletop. I think they're going to look pretty sweet. Uh, trying to get in one-on-one -on -one combat and bashing people. So uh, let me know which guys you'd like me, you'd like to see next. Would you like to see uh, Elena Heska or the Rathor or... Uh, or even just some, some of the different poses of Ashman. 